It's a stick. A stick. A stick named Vic. And he is chilling with his missus named Vic. Woo! Hi folks and welcome back to the next video and what we're covering today, well, we're going to be having a look at some stick and sex. Now, I did used to keep stick and sex a long, long time ago before we had the YouTube channel and I've kept lots and lots. I have actually had this particular species but not this morph. It's something I've seen and I've always wanted to get hold of and they were very, very hard to get hold of like five, six years ago and uh, they've been sent to me by Claire at Mantis Marvel so I'll pop them links in below onto the Facebook pages and go and head over people because these are great groups here. Not just from Man so I have stick and sex and other things, and there's some great support on there, and we have some banter as well. So head over to them pages. Any case, I'm going to try to pronounce these. So these are a morph of McClay's Spectra. Now hopefully I've got that right, and I'll pop it in below so you can see it. And I think they actually pronounce the morph over here in England is lichen but in america i think they say lichen so i don't know if i'm 100 on that and the common name is the giant prickly stick insect and yeah i have actually had the mcclay spectra the just the brownie colored ones i never had this morph before so what we'll do is we'll have a little look at them then we'll go into how i look after them and also speak about how they get the morph as well so let's have a little look at them folks and welcome back after that little video of them and they're absolute beauties aren't they completely different to the usual in the clay spectra any case let's go over some needs now temperature wise i keep mine around 24 25 degrees celsius because that's where i put it kept but you know it's around 20 to 30 and humidity wise you want to be spraying these every day i'd say spray them onto the leaves not directly onto them try and spritz the leaves with a spray bottle and they'll drink them droplets and enclosure wise at the moment depends on many you're keeping but these do grow quite big so I would advise keeping them in like a 45 centimeter tall enclosure and quite wide not 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 as big as 45 centimeters but maybe you get away with like a 20 centimeter by 45 centimeters but at the moment I've just got them in a 30 centimeter by 20 centimeter but they will be moving up to a poor hut one which I'm getting which is absolutely huge you don't have to get one but that's like 85 centimeters now other things you can keep them in is these little pop-up enclosures here you can get these and these are brilliant for stick and sex unless it's like your new guinea ones which just rip shreds out of everything and yeah it's not a great thing to do now i'm putting a glove on because i just want to show you what i feed them and that is bramble bush and you can pretty much get this everywhere just be careful where you get it it's not somewhere where it's been sprayed with any kind of like a weed killer or anything like that and always give it a good dousing rinsing off i use the hose pipe just to get any like little bugs off and stuff like that and just give it a little check over and i just snip the very young leaves off now if somebody could answer on this because it's something i looked into and i mean i've kept these for years stick and sex and I always snipped off the very, very young leaves. So when you're picking them, try to get more of the mature leaves because from what I read on a lot of places and in boots is the younger leaves can actually be poisonous to them. Now, I don't know if that's in particular species, but yeah, I always stick with bramble bush. It's easier to get. They can eat other things like, I think it's hazel, sunken eat oak and eucalyptus, which is very expensive. But check with where you've had them from, what they've been feeding on, because sometimes it can be fussy and bramble's just so easy to get anywhere you can go and what i do is i pop them into these little pots now i haven't been able to find mine i found the top soon we haven't found the bottoms but I'll just pop a picture in quick so you can see what i'm on about but the the actually called the non-spill paint tubs which you used to have when you were kids and you just pop the little bung out of the middle and use the rest of it so here's the picture so then what you want and then what you do is you just cut off down the bottom and stick 
that inside and then trim off to the size if you enclose it and then that's got some water in there um, for the actual bramble bush so it keeps it a bit fresher a bit longer and like I say just spraying them onto the leaves so they can drink the droplets and that'll be fine. Now the morph wise which I want to go over is the obviously McClay Spectra and I think what's actually done from reading and speaking to Claire and some others as well is they have them from when they first hatch and they fill the absolute tank full of lichen and then they'll morph to blend in with the surroundings so it's pretty interesting so also something to must add is these or this I don't want to try and pronounce that but basically that means is they will lay eggs and they will hatch they'll all be females um, if you have got males in there obviously what happens is obviously you're gonna get some males but the hatching isn't as long so your eggs could take anywhere between from my experience six to twelve months if there's no male involved can be quicker and little things I will say is if you are hatching eggs because I have hatched a lot of different eggs for stick insects as I found issues with mold and it can be really fatal to the eggs so I started keeping mine in sand instead of keeping them in uh, soil and just plonking them on top of the sand and just spritzing that very lightly every couple of days depending on what that species needs and I found I didn't have any issue with mould um, I never tried springtails and I don't know if that would actually work but I suppose it's something you could do but sand was just absolutely a lot easier so in any case I hope you've enjoyed the video everybody if you have give us a like don't forget to share and comment below also subscribe if you haven't subscribed subscribe and hit the notification bell for keep up to date with the next videos in any case catch you in the next one bye <laughs>